believable. My people, you will truly understand what I mean by unbelievable. Yes, so you will truly get it. Do you believe that uh, the Fulanese are complaining, not just Fulanese, the uh, Fulani headsmen are complaining that some of their members are trying to leave the country. My ATL cries out that the Nigerian government must do everything to ensure they do not leave because they don't feel secure. They feel that um, Nigerians are after them and that they are the enemy and what have you. Say so some of their members are trying to leave the, the country. Have you forgotten that this whole thing started with, with um, you know, when Buhari came in, part of the announcement he made to the West African Fulanese was that Nigeria belongs to them. And at the time of Usman Dafudu, um, the British came and stopped their agenda, their conquest to <clears throat> conquer the land and that they want to take what belongs to them, that from Lake Chad to this to that, it all belongs to them, and then told them to come and vote for him so that he can return them back to their promised land. Those were some of the promises that were given to them, and some of them took heed, and they came into Nigeria to vote for Buhari, and today is a different ball game altogether. Now the Fulanese are crying out that, ah, they are being oppressed. So uh, a lot of things are going on. Uh, their members are trying to leave the country. Uh, and their, some of their members are trying to go to other West African countries because they don't feel safe in Nigeria. They don't feel like they belong here. And what have you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe as we get the full details. Some of our members are trying to leave the country. My ATL Cattle Breed Association cries out. It is no longer news that Nigeria has been facing lingering insecurity and crisis due to activities of banditry, especially in the northern part of the country. Several people has been displaced from their homes, some held, while others have been getting kidnapped and made to pay huge ransoms of money. However, the new president of Maitiala Cattle Breeder Association of Nigeria, Baba Otam, had lamented that his members are the ones that are most affected by the security situation of the country. Speaking to the Punch newspaper in an exclusive interview, Natam lamented that some of the members are already leaving the country. According to him, some of their members that cannot cope with the security problems are living in search of peace somewhere else. Hear him. Before you see me somewhere, someone, before you see someone has been kidnapped on the highway. A lot of Fulani headsmen have been attacked in the bush, he stated. Some are trying to leave the country looking for a peaceful place where they can protect their lives and their properties and their family. This is very, uh, this is very sad because Buhari never promised, Buhari never promised any of this. What is said is quite different to what we are experiencing, and that is why we are not happy. We are calling on Nigerian government to do all they possibly can to ensure that they get Nigerians back, get Nigerians back to trusting in the government again. Protection of lives and property are a big part of a government activities to the people. Buhari has failed us. Some people are trying to leave. What is he doing about it? We therefore call on Nigerian government to ensure that they protect the lives and property, especially of our people, as we are really unhappy. So this is what is, you know, you know, this is what is going on. This is what we are experiencing and why every, you know, uh, every one of us must rise up to it and not allow them to bamboozle us or keep us in a particular cocoon and let them just have their way. You know, a lot of things are going on and Nigerians, it is important that we look at these areas together and ensure that at the end of the day, we are not misunderstood. Like I earlier reiterated to you when the Fulanis, at the very instance when Buhari became president, what we heard was that Buhari went to, you know, went to West Africa, brought them in, told them that if he was not declared the president, they all hell should be let loose. But he was surprised when he became, when they announced that he won, Good luck, Ibele Jonathan was one of the first persons that called him and said congratulations. And so those people, they left them without taking care of them. And so they became a loose kernel. And today they are the very, very, uh, you know, thorns on his flesh. So when you look at it, you begin to wonder to yourself, what exactly is going on here? How did we get here in the first place? What have been the activities so far? 
and what can we do to to to, to ensure that we we save ourselves from being endangered you know uh, of course the fulanis not all fulanis are bad people please note note not all fulanis are bad people not all fulanis not all fulanis you know, before Buhari came in, the Fulanis were, were decent people. Nobody even thought about any Fulani man and thought about anything bad. Nobody. I can assure you for free. No Nigerian would think of a Fulani and think of anything bad before Buhari's tenor. This whole thing came about when Buhari came in. And you know, when, a, when for instance, a child has a stepmother and they tell that child that uh, deal with her and all that, then the attitude changes. Why? And information they got. Before you could say Jack Robinson, he turned them and they told them that Nigeria belongs to them and that they want to give them back the land. So what would you do with the people that are in the land? They say, take, they say eliminate them. And that's why you started seeing all the killings and everything that have been going on. Somebody fed them with that information. Somebody made them make them believe that they, they are the important ones. The other people are subordinate. It's not that's not right. If you are one of those who are spreading this kind of rumor, you are a bad person. In fact, those that are leading, listening to you are the most gullible ones, and I feel sorry for them because they will never succeed in such an endeavor. They will never succeed. It's not a curse. It's the reality. You can't wipe out people that have been there because you want to have a place. We must become reasonable, we must become sensible in the things we are doing, and we must ask ourselves serious questions. How did we get here in the first place? These are things that we must pay attention to, you know. The people who are saying they want to lead, have you taken a, a close look at them? Why do they want to lead? Why? Have you understood their, where they are coming from? Have you seen them? You know, these are things that we must pay attention to and look at it more critically and squarely and ensure that at the end of the day, we are not being left out, you know, in a situation where we are, we are in despair. We must come out on a position of truth. The position of, you know, truth and honesty must become our watchword. We must be we must be honest, we must be sincere, and we must ensure that Nigeria becomes a change place for every one of us. Don't forget, it is up to you and I to cause this change to happen. Remember, whatever is going on today is as a result of some of the decisions we made yesterday. What are we doing today to ensure that such decisions are not kept, do not keep us down? What are we doing today? Yeah? So this is what is happening. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us share subscribe god bless have a fantastic and a lovely day from us is bye for now remember you have a voice so speak out and speak out god bless bye